All that makes me go sound possible, me because my name is Taffrey16, and welcome back to another reaction video, and welcome to my reaction to Eggheads. This is the channel points request by Scaro. Thank you, Scaro, for using your points. So, that's the Eggheads, the British quiz show. Uh, and the format of the show is in each episode, a team of five quiz and game show champions who are the Eggheads is challenged by a team of five contestants for prize money. Uh, this show started in November of 2003 and was originally hosted by Dermart uh, Moranigan. Dermot Moranigan, uh, until he was, he, he is best known for being a news presenter, most recently for Sky News from 2007 up until actually about two weeks ago he left. Uh, recently, he was known for being the first uh, British uh, news presenter to report Queen Elizabeth's death. Uh, and then in 2008, he was joined by a uh, Jeremy Vine as co-chair. Jeremy Vine, of course, being most well known for having the postmodern family on his show that one time. And Felipe, did you say to Lillian, this is what I want? No. Moranigan left the show in 2014, I think. Yeah, 2014. And since then, Jeremy Vine has been sole chair. Uh, the episode we're going to watch is somewhat recent. It's from October of 2021. All right, we're off. What's that in the background? These people oh. are amongst the greatest quiz players in Britain. Ah. Together, they make up the Eggheads, the most formidable quiz team in the country. No. The question is, can they be beaten? Maybe. I don't know. Wonder how often they've lost. Welcome to Eggheads, the show where a team of quiz challengers attempt to beat the greatest quiz team in Britain. They are the Eggheads. Today's fearsome foursome are Lisa. I was only four. Olav. Kevin. Wikipedia lied to me. And Judith. <laughs> and hoping to get one over on our quiz champions today are the Afflicted. Now, this team know each other from being part of the furry fandom as it's called they've got <laughs> Wait a minute. furry costumes those are the crystal maze see furries each other regularly at conventions their team name I remember is that based guy. on a furry novel let's meet them i'm mike and i'm a call center advisor he had to shave Hi, the I'm beard Jen, after they lost i'm a administrator hello my name is Jax, and i work for citizen advice and i am a volunteer i don't know if I'm she Rob, was there and i'm a security he was. officer so mike and team welcome Great to see you. Nice to see you. I've got to ask, the, the whole thing is, That's is like interesting to me. This. The furry costumes. He also requested wear, the Crystal that, Maze furry episode. A, a, an interest, a passion, a hobby? Um, yeah, it's basically a large money sink, to be honest. It's a very, very expensive <laughs> hobby when you get into it. You could probably get a semi decent car for the price of some of these costumes. So, what's your favourite costume? Um, I probably wear the rabbit one a bit more often than the others. Bray Wyatt can as well. And a two bird, which is uh, great because I can just go around just shouting at people really loudly. It's great. This is the most brilliant. I wish you'd worn your costume. I, yeah, yeah, you, you should have worn your costumes. There <laughs> you know we what, go. If, do you know what? If we get invited back again, we will do it in costumes. <laughs> Maybe for a charity event, we'll do that. All right. So every day there's a thousand pounds worth of cash they up for grabs for our challengers. If they fail to defeat the eggheads, the prize money rolls over to the next show. The afflicted, I can tell you, the eggheads have won the last four games. Can't believe so the crystal maze furries, bro. Pounds to play for. <laughs> Are you ready? Shall we try? Indeed. All right. These the like four years apart too. Is on the subject of sport. Uh, who would like sport? <laughs> I, I think this was the one where we were all like, let's hope sport doesn't come. It was indeed. Up. Yeah. Yes. Shall I yep. take it? I think Jackie would be brilliant. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Jack's on Jack's, sport. Jack's yeah, on Jack's. Sport. Jack's yeah. Give it a go. Jax, which egghead would you like to take on? We've got Lisa and Ooh. Olaf and Kevin and Judith. Olive, I think I will challenge you. Oh, thank you. I mean, I've won the um, sports category in the World Championships a couple of times. I, 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 like, <laughs> I like a challenge. I like to challenge myself. <laughs> is, it, is it too late? Is it too late? <laughs> All right, Jax. Good luck to you here. Yeah, me, he man. has won, but he has his moments. It's just something could go wrong. Who knows? Yeah, so who knows? Jax from The Afflicted versus Olav, our newest egghead on sport for the first time on the show. Let's see what happens. Please go to the famous question room. Good luck here on Sport Jax. See if I know okay? this. Yeah, I'm feeling confident. So when you have a costume, it's not called a persona, it's called a fursona. <laughs> it is, yeah. And what's yours, Jax? I'm a fox with purple tip ears. Oh my ears. god. Oh, brilliant. So Hearing that's Jeremy Biden say that is put hilarious. That on, on a Saturday or something. Yeah, I just go into town, grab a cup of tea, <laughs> wearing the fursuit. <laughs> It's just, it's just brilliant. 
All right. Well, let's see how we go. It's Olav against Jax. Jax, I'm going to ask each of you three multiple choice questions on sport in turn. Whoever answers the most questions correctly is the winner. Would you like to go first or second? I would like to go second, please. So, first question to Olav, here we go. Which of these racehorses has won the Grand National more than once? Devon Lock, Tiger Roll, or Aldeniti? Uh, Devon Lock famously no fell with Dick Francis. Uh, Aldeniti was Bob Champion, that was once, and I think Tiger Roll has won it more than one occasion. So, your so answer, that's my is answer is Tiger Roll. Tiger, Tiger Roll. Tiger Roll is, is correct. Name. And the three. Jax, which tennis player won her fourth Grand Slam singles title? at the 2021 Australian Open. Was it Naomi Osaka, Joanna Conte... Naomi, I think. ...or Ashley Barty? OK. Naomi doesn't quite sound right. Not sure about Joanna, but name rings a bell, so I'm going to go for Ashley Barty. Ashley Barty isn't the right answer, actually. It is Naomi yeah. Osaka, <gasps> who's coming through strongly, Olav, at the moment. Yeah, she is. Um, she's she's really good. <laughs> OK, so, here's your question, Olav. The American Bryson DeChambeau is a famous name in which sport? Golf, baseball or athletics? Oh, golf. Um, I'm a huge baseball fan, by the way. Um, he's known as a huge... Uh, as a, sort of, uh, he's known for his huge drives in golf, so it's golf. Yeah. Golf is right. So, Jax, good luck. You need to get this one. Which of these boxing weight classes is the lightest? Is it bantamweight? Flyweight or flyweight, which is the lightest? Well, the obvious answer would be featherweight. However, I'm feeling this might be a trick one. <laughs> so I'm going to go, I believe, with flyweight. And you're right. You well are done. right. It is flyweight. Good job. <laughs> Brilliant. OK, well done. Challengers coming back. But Olav can take the round with this question. Which of these stadiums was not the home of a Premier League football team in the 2020-21 season? Liberty Stadium, no clue. Craven Cottage, or Bramall Lane? Uh, Craven Cottage is Sheffield... No, sorry, that's Fulham. Bramall Lane, Sheffield United. Uh, so I think it's Liberty Stadium. I think, I think that's Cardiff City, maybe? I'm not sure. OK, Liberty Stadium is your answer. If you've got it right, you've got three in a row, and Jax will be out. Any eggheads know this? Well, he's right, it's Liberty Stadium, which is Swansea. Oh, not, Swansea so, yeah, not Cardiff, yeah. but Swansea, OK? Right ballpark. But you got it right, <laughs> you got Liberty Stadium, you got three out of three. Jack, sorry, he's hard to beat, this guy, this new egghead. But you played well, come back to us, we'll play. No, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't so, play well. So, the challengers have lost one brain from the final round. The eggheads have not lost any so far. I stress so far. Still time, challengers. Yep. And the next subject is history. Who would like this? Oh. Well, I think... It's with you. Oh. I think, Mike, you would probably be our, our best candidate for this. I think your general knowledge of everything is, is pretty good. Oh, don't pull that face. Oh. <laughs> I, I think he yeah. saw the Crystal I, I Maze video, too. History would have been your subject, so if this had come up been, first... Yeah, but I think you see this? Hi, Mike. I, will, uh, <laughs> I, I think I'll take this. <laughs> yeah, okay. Mike. Mike against which egghead? Obviously can't be Olaf. I will go against uh, Judith today, I think. Fantastic. Well, you would be very pleased with that. Well, oh, I, I don't say that, because something will go wrong. <laughs> but you, lo but but you, you like your history, don't you? He just so. loves her history. history. Yeah. yeah. So, Mike from the Afflicted versus Judith from the Eggheads, and please go to the question room. Why would you pick the oldest person to go against with so, history, Mike, bro? Come on. you sometimes dress as a rabbit. I gather there's a cat and a bird as well. That's but correct. These are quite expensive costumes, aren't they? Yeah, if you've got, like, a partial, which is usually the head, and paws, maybe a tail. They, they might be. Like I wonder what I would be. Eight hundred pound or so. I like a full to be costume weird. might be like one thousand five hundred to many, many more thousands. Like a on the rhino. Now, or some Judith, shit. what would you dress as? I don't know. I've been thinking. I was thinking um, <laughs> if I had to go into town dressed as something, I'd go as a porcupine, and then I'd get no trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, people would That's keep smart. their distance for sure, wouldn't they? They well, certainly would. OK, with that image, we're doing history. Okay. And, Mike, you can choose the first or second set of questions. I'll take the first set, please. All right, you get this, Mike. And here we go. Your first question is this. The Brusilov Offensive, one of the most deadly military actions in history, took place during which conflict? Was it the Crimean War? World War One or World War Two? World War One. Hmm. Now I'm trying to think back to my history lessons, which was a long, long time ago. Um, I think we it's... did study 
more about World War One and Two, and I, I don't think that came up. So with that in mind, I'm going to say the Crimean War. Oh, I think he knows. War. Crimean War is your answer. Let's go to Kevin. He'll know this. It's um, it's actually World War One. Mm. Uh, right. It was a massive Russian offensive in 1916, which initially had a lot of success, pushed the Germans back quite some way, but then they couldn't initially. sustain it. They basically ran out of steam, <laughs> and the Germans rolled them back, and in the process, the Russians lost hundreds and hundreds of thousands of, of really? men. Yeah, and okay. then the reverse happened in the World War II. <laughs> offensive. All right, so let's see how Judith does on her first question. Judith, which US president was awarded the 1919 Nobel Peace Prize for his role as the founder of the League of Nations? Was it Herbert Hoover, Theodore Roosevelt, or Woodrow Wilson? Wilson. I think that must have been Woodrow Wilson. I think so. It too. was. Oh, well nice. done, Woodrow Wilson. Okay, back to you, Mike. What was the name of Christopher Columbus's flagship on his first voyage across the Atlantic the Mayflower? in 1492? Was it Santa Maria? Oh, no, I'm sorry. Nina or Pinta? Santa Maria. Oh, the Pinta was the first one that came to mind. And usually when it comes to gut instincts, it's right. I'm just going to go with the Pinta because that's, again, that's my first instinct. Pinter is wrong, I'm afraid. Judith, do you know which one? I think it's the Santa Maria. Yep. Were they all three his ships? They yeah. were all three his. Yes. So his flagship was the Santa Maria. Yeah. Judith, your question, and you can take the round with this. Which of these countries was part of an area commonly known as the Barbary Coast until the 19th century? Belgium, Egypt, or Japan? Belgium. Well, the Barbary Coast was, was North Africa, so out of those, oh. it must be Egypt. If you've got this right, you're in the final round. The Barbary Coast was indeed in Egypt. Got him. You're right, Judith, two out of two. Sorry, Mike. It's fine. <laughs> Got caught cold by the egghead there, but not to worry. Still time for your team to turn it around. We'll be back it's shortly. It's not going well for if Team Fur like Affinity so far. If you a question from the eggheads during the break, Olaf, you've got one. Yep. Uh, Pokari Sweat is the top sports drink in which country? Korea. Where it was launched in 1980. Pokari Sweat. Don't ask me how I know that. Thank you, Olaf. We'll see you in just a moment. But it's Korea. <laughs> Welcome back. Now, before the break, we had a question, didn't we, from Olav? And it was about Pakari Sweat. He said it's the top sports drink in which country? And it was launched in 1980. Go on, tell us. Well, uh, do you know which countries love uh, bad English? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's Japan. Japan, okay. Oh, really? Any okay. more on that? Obviously, they're, they're having a bit of trouble expanding into the rest of the world because the name isn't very enticing, is it? <laughs> oh, you know no, what it was? It's a sports drink, yeah. I guess. Yeah. No, it's it huge, is Japan. It's huge in Asia. I mean, I think it's. The I top saw Korean drink girls Korea, advertise it. Okay. That's why. It was. Pakari Sweat. Now we That's know. wild. As it stands, the afflicted have lost two brains from the final round. It's going to be time, Mike, to turn on the boosters, I think. Let the first Don't ask me how I know that. The next subject is geography. <laughs> You so, ain't getting shit out of like me on this? that. Ooh. <laughs> Jen or Rob? I mean, Jen. I'm not sure about that one, you know. <laughs> yeah. I'm happy to go for it. If you're, if you're happy Come to go for that, that's yeah. fine. Happy to do it. Oh, oh he's the guy who kept falling on the planets, isn't he? Against which egghead? <laughs> Lisa or Poor Kevin? Rob. Well, I'd like to go against Kevin, please. Very good. <laughs> Taking on the Grandmaster. Rob from The Afflicted plays Kevin from The Eggheads. And just to ensure there's no conferring, please go to the question room. OK, Rob, good luck here. Last round before the final. And what's your fursona? Uh, my fursona name, he's a dragon, and he's called a Jack Knight. OK, nice. I see you were dressed in a dragon costume and, and, and go out in it. All the time, yeah. Like you said, you always see me downtown, down the pub, having a, having a pint. <laughs> I want to be a Seriously? Oh, yeah, I've done that a few times. Long straw. <laughs> Brilliant. Well, good luck against our own dragon here, Kevin. Mm -hmm. Fire-breathing, aren't you, Kevin? Occasionally. <laughs> mm -hmm. It depends if the mood takes me. So no. it's geography, and it's three questions, Rob, and you can choose the first or second set. Uh, I'd like to go first, please. Good luck. Here's your first question. Which of these UK airports had the most passengers in 2019? Manchester, Edinburgh, or Belfast International? Edinburgh, guess. What does it think of? I think Belfast is one of the smaller ones. Something's coming to mind about Manchester, I believe, because I think that's got some big hotels nearby, so I'm going to go Manchester, please. You're right. Manchester oh, is nice. the most busy. Well done. Lovely. Or was in 2019, anyway. Good start. K, 
Kevin, the national flag of which country consists of a red background with a large yellow star in the center? Is it Japan, Myanmar, or Vietnam? Uh, the, well, the one there with the star uh, is Vietnam. Vietnam is yeah. correct. I think Myanmar's got a star, hasn't it? A I think I know what the, the Myanmar's. There is a star on it, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Flag I mean, yeah, sorry, yes, I should have clarified that. But not, not yellow. No. So one each. Back to you, Rob. Which of these seas is the most southerly? Black Sea, Red Sea, or Yellow Sea? Oh, I should know this, because I've been on a few cruises through quite a few of the different seas. Oh, I, will admit, I haven't heard of Yellow Sea. Black Sea, oh, that's a dead sea. And it's go the Red only Sea. only one that can, that's coming to mind, so uh, I'll go Black Sea, please. Oh. It's not Black Sea, actually, it's, it's the Red Sea. Oh. Let's see if we can get some A-Kids helping. Lisa Teal, what's going on here? Oh. Did you just ask I me did. a question about bodies of water, Jeremy? How silly of I'll me. I'll do my best. <laughs> I think the Yellow Sea is a sort of uh, Eastern Asia, and then the Black Sea is a little bit further over, uh, touching sort of Russia, Ukraine. She looks like she does not want to be here. Is, Africa, and that's just <laughs> is she good? <laughs> more southern, so you'd go with the red one every time the other two are Asia. So the answer is Red Sea, and it gives Kevin a chance to take the lead with this second question. The Burj Khalifa, the world's tallest building, is closest in height to which of these mountains? Scaffold Pike, Ben Nevis, or Snowden? Not Edward Snowden. Mm. This, this relies on having gone metric, which I never really did. I would think it's got to be the lowest of the three, which would be Scaffold Pike. Kevin's logic is bang on. It is Scaffold Pike. Kevin, got it. Well done. Yeah, yeah I mean, it had to be. I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. I'll, I'll tell you the heights. Ben Nevis is one three four five yeah. meters. Uh, oh yeah. Well, Snowden, I think, is one zero eight five. Yeah, well, the Burj Khalifa is about eight two eight. So Scaffold Pike nine six four, and the Burj Khalifa eight hundred and thirty. Yeah. OK, Rob, back to you. So you need to get this one right. OK, Doc. How many US states have a name that begins with the letter M? Ooh. Four, six or eight? Ah, oh, it's going to be good, because I actually went to Minnesota last year. So, uh, Six. Minnesota, Minnesota, Maryland. Massachusetts. Don't think Maine. it's eight, because I think there's about 40, 50 states. That's four right there. So I'm just going to go straight down the middle, and I'll go six, please. Six is your answer. Shall we go through them, then? Let's have a think. So you said Minnesota, Maryland. Missouri. Missouri, says Judith. Yeah. Massachusetts. Maine. Massachusetts, Maine. Maine. Montana, Michigan. We're at five. Oh, Montana, there's, Michigan, there's eight. seven. We're only missing one. Yeah. Yes. I can't remember eight. what we've said, but anyway. Mississippi? Missouri, Mississippi. Mississippi. The worst state. Mississippi, yeah, it's eight. Uh, Got him. Oh, Rob, sorry. We learned a lot in that round, I feel. That. <laughs> Kevin, well done. You're in the final. So, tough for our challengers, not impossible. Come back, join your teams, <laughs> and we'll play the final round. I don't know, Hobby. It's looking impossible. <laughs> OK, this is what we've been playing towards. It is time for the final round, which, as always, is general knowledge. But I'm afraid those of you who lost your head-to-heads won't be allowed to take part in this round. Ugh. So that's Mike Jackson, Rob, from The Afflicted. Would you please now leave the studio? Get out of here. OK, Jen, that... how are we feeling? Nervous, but very excited, yeah. Good stuff. Now, I must ask you what your furry character is. <laughs> so I have a few, but the one I'm mostly known for is Edward the Hamster. And you'll go out occasionally? Where? Yeah, only occasionally. Mostly uh, myself fits for charity events and that sort of thing. Um, he's quite uh, heavy and warm to wear, so I don't <laughs> wear him all that often. <laughs> Terrific. I so wish we'd seen the costumes yes. today. Well, listen, I hope you win. Good luck, Thank Jen. Thank you very much. They're really playing to win your team £5,000. Lisa, Olav, Kevin and Judith, you're playing for something that money can't buy, the Egghead's precious reputation. As usual, I will ask each team three questions. I'd rather turn. check, this honestly. Time, <laughs> all general knowledge. I normally say you can confer, but it's, it's tricky when it's just you, Jen. So the question is, can your one brain defeat these four? And would you like to go first or second? Um, I'd like to go first, please. Good luck, Jen. Which of these exercises is usually done while lying on one's back? Deadlift, bench press, or squat? Hmm, so, I'll say squat. I know that you don't <laughs> do a squat on your back. Not it's a normally. bench press. So, bench press on deadlift, and it's normally done on the back. Um, I would 
go for Don't say deadlift. a deadlift. You have mother. Deadlift. <laughs> Madra. I'm trying to visualise. Is deadlift where you, you're you going to a standing position? You, you bend over and right. pick it up from the ground for a deadlift. Yeah. You, you pick up, yeah, so that's mm. picking up and standing. Bench press. Bench press. That one where... You know, your friend's supposed to support the I saw the Mike cringe they, in the background. <laughs> what she said. Me new friends, Jeremy. She said deadly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey kids. The Marathon des Sables is a six-day endurance race held annually in which desert? No idea. Is it the Mojave, Gobi, or Sahara? Sahara. Sahara. Yeah. Sahara. Sahara? Sahara. Sahara. Yeah. Marathon des Sables is held in the Sahara Desert. Sahara is right. So it's one to them and none to the challengers, but there's still time, Jen. Which monster kills the title character in the old English epic poem, Beowulf? Grendel, the dragon, or Grendel's mother? I don't know. Okay, so my history is not particularly brilliant, but the names all ring a bell. Um, I want to say that it's not a dragon. Um, Grendel and Grendel's mother come to mind, but I I think, given the choice between the two, I'm going to go with Grendel. Grendel is your answer. Now, I'm just thinking we do have a dragon in the team today, <laughs> Rob, don't we? Was it? It wasn't me, honestly. I'm innocent. <laughs> <laughs> do you know the answer to this, Rob? No, but the only one, again, like Janet speaking to me, is Grendel. Yeah. Eggheads? Grendel's mother. Grendel. Beowulf kills Grendel, I think. He kills... Uh... Beowulf kills Grendel and then... Grendel's mother is not too happy about it. Spoilers. Don't say it's Grendel's mother. Oh, plot yeah. twist. <laughs> <laughs> the answer actually is dragon. Oh. The really? answer is dragon. That will be a surprise. To Everyone's you, wrong. I've remembered it. <laughs> <Go on>. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> too late in the day. He, he kills Grendel. Then he kills. I mean, Grendel's mother, as I said, is not happy about it and goes on the rampage herself. He kills her. Got him. And then in the last bit of the poem. Years later, he takes on another quest, which was to get this dragon that's been destroying another area. And in, he's an old man by this day, and in that case, he dies. Along, he gets the okay. dragon, but he dies too. OK, Eggheads, get this one right. The contest is over. The contest is one over. One <laughs> Dance was a UK number one single for 15 weeks in 2016. For which act? Is it Drake? Drake. Ed Sheeran or Justin Bieber? Drake. Drake, isn't it? Drake. Yeah. Drake. Drake. Yeah. Go with that. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we think that's Drake. Drake is your answer. If you've got it right, they have. There'll be no way back for the challengers. I never know how you get your your pop references, eggheads, but you've got it right. The answer is Drake. We say congratulations, eggheads. God you damn, bro, it's an ass kicking. Poor furries. Well, Jen, I'm sorry, the, the bear wolf dra and the, the Rob, you know, you were baffled by that one as well. Yeah, it's like I'm going to get a lot of slack for that one now, being the dragon of the group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling we should have them back in costume. Yeah. I agree. Yes. Uh, would you, would you come back in costume? Yeah. Yeah. Charity Absolutely. Event. We would we'll love that. that. Yes. We would love that. But yeah. thank you so much for playing. It's really great to see you all. And uh, lovely team, lovely team of challengers. Mm. We say commiserations. The eggheads have done what comes naturally to them. You still reign here over Quizland. So it does mean the challengers don't go home with the £5,000. We roll the money over to our next show. Eggheads, well they done. Nothing, Can't wait bro. to see you playing again. Thank you, challengers. Join us next time to see if a new team have the brains to defeat them. £6,000 says they don't. Goodbye. Goddamn. Poor furries, bro. They got fucking whooped. I imagine that's how the show is most of the time, to be fair. Most of the time, it's probably just people getting their ass kicked. Maybe for if I do another one, I should, um... I should uh, find an episode where people actually do better. Although, um, I do have a second episode of that show in my folder. It's the um, it's a still game celebrity special. So, if you'd be interested in seeing that, uh, let me know. That's the other episode I have. It's a, a celebrity still game episode. I, I didn't do too bad on some of them questions. I got most of the sport ones. Um, but, damn... Fur Finley got just just got the ass kicked. <laughs> it was not close. They 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 didn't do. I mean, they did better on Crystal Maze. <laughs> they didn't do that well on that either. <laughs> All right, 
Well, that's gonna do it for me today. Thank you again, Scar, for using your points on this. I appreciate it. That's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you didn't like it, don't. If you want to follow any of my social media links, my Twitch, my streamer, I am a second channel. For extended views, my Twitter, if you want to follow me on my, my Patreon, if you will support me on my daily motion, all things are in the video description down below, as well as the Twitch Files channel and the community Reddit. Thank you to all my Patrons who are currently named in the video description as well. For those that don't know, you can be Patreon me for as little as one pound. In addition to your name in the description, you also get access to direction videos as well as the reading comments up to date early, sometimes more. For that being said, though, my name is Taffer. Christine's been my reaction to eggheads. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.